This is a battle for the ages. Me versus the fish. Come on, fishy. I will get you great home in my belly. That is right, baby. Oh my God, dude. Come on. I got in touch with soldiers. They will send a good friend of mine. Old good friend. Will you meet her? Dude. Are we about to recruit the military to help us defend Fort Moss? No, no, no! Ah! Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Last Day Outer Survival with a preview of the Season 3 update gameplay. Season 3 of course which should be coming our way a little bit later this week. We are back here at Fort Moss, a place that we have been doing quite a little bit of fun stuff with and we're probably going to be returning here a little bit later in the video. But first things first, today ladies and gentlemen I am happy and excited to be able to show off for you all a little skill known as the Fisherman skill a brand new extremely skill being added to the game you're a skillful fisherman and you know how to make a fishing rod this actually gives us the knowledge on how to craft the new fishing rod of which i have in my hand here you guys can see the fishing rod and if we need to craft any more we do have the recipe available to us along with a kitchen stove over here something that we're going to be showing off a little bit later today as well as a brand new workbench coming to the game in the season three update but that skill does something else that is incredible incredibly important that skill should actually allow the brand new dock location to start spawning in the world map Woo! and my hunch was correct here we are ladies and gentlemen boys and girls welcome to one of the brand new events that can appear in the game the dock where we are going to be able oh look at the fishies do their fishy flappy things where we are actually going to be able to finally use the fishing rod and fish another of the massive features that is going to be added in season three of the last day on earth update that we are continuing to cover we've been covering bunker bravo we've been covering fort moss plenty of videos already out plenty more coming your way make sure you're subscribed with that notification bell hit because i cannot wait to cover even more as the time comes because today Today, we're going to do a little bit of focus on the fishies. So without further ado, let's tap on this over here. And I have no idea what I'm doing quite yet, but I'm casting my line. And that's what matters. Fishies, come and bite. Woo! It's something happened. Okay, so I think when we see that thing happen. Woo! We got to catch. What's going on? I don't know what's happening. Oh, the fish got away. I don't know what that was. What intarnation? Okay, and that did use up a little bit of our fishing rod durability. So we got to try and figure out exactly what this bar is that's popping up next to our heads because I have no idea what it is, but apparently that is how we go about catching the fishies. So what I think we got to do is like, oh, I see what we got to do. We got to like get the, we got to like keep the fish inside of the meter or something. Whoa! And we got a 73 pound perch, dude. I am Master Fisherman Cabela's. Please, come sponsor me. There are no Bass Pro Shops. I know you want to sponsor me, baby. We got ourselves here a perch, and it is one of the most common fish. Small sized, but quite edible. And here's the fun thing as well with these fish. You might be like, Star, this is just a glorified form of food. Well, you're not wrong. But thanks to this recipe over here for the kitchen stove, a brand new workbench added within the Season 3 update that we have the privilege of alpha testing. Huge shouts out to Last Outer for letting us check out the update early, help them fix as many bugs as possible, and even the opportunity to show off some of these upcoming features for you guys and gals like freaking fishing but the brand new kitchen stove we're crafting it and we cannot place it yet but it allows you to cook even the most sophisticated dishes and fish are going to be one of the most important parts of this brand new like cooking system we're going to be able to use in the kitchen stove and depending on the recipes that we whip up these recipes can actually give us temporary buffs and effects like for example the ones that the dealer gives you so this is some huge stuff coming our way and on top of it there are more fishing perks than just that there's also the fisherman's luck perk over here which increases the number of rare fish in ponds and the fishing skill, which improves your fishing skills, making handling a fishing rod a lot easier. But for now, let's continue our fishing shenanigans and hope for the best because, dude, season three just has so freaking much between... Whoa, hold on, we got ourselves a fishy. Okay, now we got to just play this game of uh, hide and go fish. Come on, fishy. Oh, go fish. Go fish. If Listen, if we're playing go fish, I'm a master of go fish. A 23-pound carp. Oh, my God. 
Well, we got ourselves a little bit of silver next to that one. And this is good because the quality of the fish that you do use in the kitchen stove recipes actually determines how long the effects will work. So for example, let's say, I'm not saying this is exactly how it's going to work, but using like a bronze fish, for example, will maybe only get you a 10 minutes of a boost for whatever buff that it gives you. Whereas like a silver fish might give you like 20 minutes, for instance, you know, of that buff. So, and there are quite a few buffs to go around as well. And we're going to be trying to cook up some of those recipes as soon as we're done with this. And then we're probably going to go and get some Fort Moss shenanigans as well. Maybe even make our way back over to Bunker Bravo and try to clear out a little bit of that as well. So quite the action-packed episode. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Oh, we got a little bit of fishing that we got to enjoy. And this looks like it's going to be... Oh, no. Get back here, fishy. Oh, my God. It's a heart. Oh, my God. What is this fish, dude? Okay. Oh, oh my God, dude. This is a freaking hard fish, man. Oh my God, dude. Like, how's this even fair? Fish. What was that? Excuse me. That's not even fair, dog. Oh my God. Okay, I might have to use like freaking... Let's try this again. Come on, fishies. Get to my belly. I want to make some good freaking... Uh, I want to make some good recipes with you. Yeah, dude, whatever that fish... I'm scared. This looks like a pretty easy fish. I don't want to smack talk the fish, though. Because I think they hear a smack... Oh, oh my God. Evasive maneuvers. Come on, fishy. Get over here, buddy. Get over here. Only a 10-pounder? This thing was freaking easier to catch than the last one that we were going for. And as we do go through all this as well, I'm going to go and get our zoom out skill try and... Uh, what's my call? Where's my zoom out skill? There we go. Try and get this active because literally the more that we fish, you guys can see that there are less and less fish inside of this fishing area, inside of this pond that there is for us to uh, maneuver around with. So ultimately you can't actually finish fishing at a pond and then you got to wait until the next time that a fishing event will appear for you. But okay, I like, I've, I'm pretty sure somewhere in this pond, there's still going to be like that freaking like extra hard fish. This one was uh, a freak. This one was an easy boy. I think that's the freaking hard fish over there, man. That looks like some kind of like a big boy of a catfish. Then we got two fishies left up in here. So let's continue trying to catch these puppies. Come on, come to mama. Oh, I think this is the one, man. This this fish looks big sketchy. Oh, oh, oh. No, that was just the perch, man. Catfish, I see you up there, dog. Don't think I don't. It's me, mano y mano. Meow and me, the freaking meow fish. Get over here, buddy. It's your time to get caught. I'm not going to let you get away, or at least so I like to tell myself. Come on, get in my belly. First in my backpack, then in the stove, and then in my belly. Okay. I got to be very careful. I know that this is going to be... Oh, my God. I know this is not going to be an easy fish, man. This one is a tough cookie, just like likes to randomly drop like that. Oh, no. Oh, my God, dude. Like, that's not even fair. Oh, my God. Ah! Dude, this catfish is OP! He's just like, he just wants to terrorize my fishing rods. I don't know if we're even going to be able to catch this thing, man. Like, oh my God, look at it. It's like, it's like a freaking super fish. Did they freaking put roids in this water or something? Oh my God. And he's gone. He's gone. We lost him. Oh my God. And apparently we can use fishing bait like Burley over here to attract fish back to the pond. But alas, it looks like no fishies for us today. Well, I mean, not as many fishies as I would have liked. Well, that's okay, though, because I'm honestly going to try and visit up. I'm going to try and later in this episode and try and hit up another one of these dock locations. Hopefully, we can get another one to spawn. But while we're waiting for that, we got some business outfit. Hope we got to get to cooking. Like, that's kitchen stove. So, uh... If you will kindly follow me. Yo, 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 what up, MTV? It's your boy, Star. Welcome to my crib, where we're about to be decking it out with this brand new 2019 model kitchen stove. Very modern looking, amazing aesthetic. Let's go and plop this puppy down. It looks like it has to be on a minimum of a stone floor. But once we got that cooking, well, 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 welcome to this brand new workstation that we're able to plop down over here. And whoa! Look at what we got. So here's actually one of the basic recipes that we can whip whip up. And you guys can see the effect that it has. We can actually, using one of those perch, create a sweet and sour perch where it stills thirst for a long period 
of time and uh, i don't know do we need to get like fuel in here or something or is this thing just like automatically freaking cook i don't know but i am intrigued by what we might be able to do here so all right first thing that pops into mind that i want to try out what happens if we toss a carp in with maybe one of these perches will this be able to create some sort of a concoction because the way that this kitchen stove works is that there are a lot of recipes that can be discovered so it looks like uh your boy's gotta summon his inner golden ramsey and we gotta create mwah, beauty or my guy fieri and we gotta make our way over to freaking flavor town regardless your boy is about to become a cook food network give me a phone call too and oh my god it's gonna take 40 minutes for us to find out first off if this even cooks anything edible we have no idea what this is going to create but yolo i'm willing to sacrifice some coins and whoa we got ourselves some fish steaks of bronze quality and i can only eat it so okay okay this is interesting the way that this actually works is that it doesn't spit ah starvation or thirst station the opposite of starvation oh hold on let me let me bless my recipes with a little bit of uh my secret ingredient that's right they don't show this part on the food network but i'm giving you guys the behind the scenes <laughs> now that it's been blessed back to the way that it looks like the kitchen stove works it actually appears that it does not spit out an item rather it gives you the ability to eat this and it looks like the fish steaks have this strange ability where apparently eating fish steaks makes you a freaking ninja so you know if you guys ever want to uh, pursue the ninja lifestyle make sure you whip up some fish steaks and chow them down but it appears that those two fishes together actually created fish steaks so i'm gonna go ahead and chow down on a little bit of that and we now should actually have that ability affecting us for the next little while here and yeah we got the fish steak ability and you guys can see that it lasts for 10 minutes and that is again because of the quality of ingredients that we were using because the different fishies have different qualities and i wonder i wonder i wonder of what else we might be able to vip together and dudes this is just freaking it's so incredible because this is still just a small taste of what this massive season three update is gonna be bringing our way later this week where it does go full global and of course when the update does go global in its full version we're gonna be able to show off every single little bit of it right now we are limited in scope of what we can show off to fort moss a little bit of bunker bravo and now fishing with this video so i'm trying to show off absolutely as much as possible absolutely asap make sure you're subscribed with that notification bell hit season three we're gonna cover the bejesus out of there's a lot for us to get to because we still gotta get to the swamps we still gotta assemble our atv we still gotta clear out the rest of the bunker we got so much stuff to do and even more that i cannot explicitly mention so make sure you stay in tune but okay back to what we're saying besides the crazy amounts of hype i got myself some stuff over here and i believe that i got some winning concoctions and by that i mean i'm gonna try and freaking whip some stuff up over here and hope for the best because <laughs> I don't know if this will work. I'm gonna try and a little dude. This has to be a thing. Listen, welcome back to my Food Network show. We're over here at the 9 a.m. time slot. That's right, not really prime time. Gotta work my way up the Food Network ladder, okay? The Food Network food chain. Uh, but I'm gonna be trying to create some surf and turf, a little bit of fish and steak, and hopefully this treats us well it's gonna take us 23 minutes to get to the bottom of what type of freaking edible poison we're creating let's whip it up and fish stew okay what does this do it, it has no effects excuse me it's not as it's not special it doesn't say that it's special or anything okay i'm gonna eat this really quickly do we gain any superpowers am i batman yet i'm batman i am not batman Bro, that's not even like a recipe, so... Wow! We actually just made some pathetic food. I wasted a fish for this?! Oh my god! I am frankly offended by what I just witnessed. Wowzers. Well, okay, I kind of want to see if maybe... I want to see if we can't maybe... Okay, so here's what I'm thinking here. Maybe we can, like, saute one of these fish, right? With, like, whiskey. Oh, it says it's gonna take 40 minutes. I feel like that's a good sign. A 40 minute recipe last time that ended up pretty well. Let's go and skip it and fish stew. Guys, I don't know how much longer my Food Network contract's gonna last. Ratings, they're looking down. We gotta freaking send the Hail Mary. Uh, we got ourselves our freaking best quality fish over here. We got ourselves a little bit of carrots. 
Let's see if maybe we can whip up something real nice. Oh, it says 28 minutes. Is that a good sign? No! It's a bad one. It is a bad one. It appears that another fish stew is awaiting us. Well, I'll be darned. That hurts. That hurts. <laughs> Boys and girls, I got off the phone with the Food Network executives. We're canceled. <laughs> they canceled us after one episode. <laughs> they sent us here to this gulag known as freaking Fort Moss. They told me to prove myself here and then to find another dock and bring some more fish and maybe they'll give us another chance. So in the chase of Food Network stardom, Capitan, what do you need from me? Repair the radar? All right, aye aye, Captain. I am on it because welcome back to Fort Moss, everybody. As much as this place seems like a gulag, it's a place that I hold rather near and dear to my heart. And it's a place that we are about to repair this telecommunicative channel known as a radar for fully functioning... I, I don't exactly know what it does for us, but we got a functioning radar, baby. And that right there... That's a flex. Sorry. Sorry to do it to you, all you uh, zombies out there without radar. That's right. This non-zombie now has radar. Things are looking rather up. But there you guys have a little taste of fishing. Like I said, we are going to be doing a little bit more fishing. We still got our fishing rod. I'm just waiting for another dock location to spawn in. But in the meantime, we got some more Season 3 stuff to check out as we continue our freaking just masquerade of everything that this dang update has to offer. Plenty more to come. I cannot wait to cover it all because there's just so freaking much. Thank you very... Okay, my inventory is full. This just this is just a freaking theme at this point, man. So I'm going to take this opportunity because I'm actually pretty sure I need some spike traps at some point in the future. So I'm going to go ahead and craft up those spike traps. Okay, I actually got to get me a little bit of wood. So let me go and uh, pick up some of the old wood from over here because in case you guys can't tell, this is uh, some of the remnants of, uh, well, our horde defenses. We've tried fending off the horde quite a few times and it's still going well. We're still continuing to make our way up because I want to continue leveling up this base literally as much as possible, man. I want to see just how far this quest line takes us. So how is my inventory still full, mate? Oh my God, you are so demanding, bro. There we go. Now I think that we should have inventory room. So Mr. Capitan, thank you so much for the goodies. And I got some goodies in store for you. Take these ball bearings. Take that tape and take that scrap metal. And now we got to go and build up some wooden walls, wooden windows and spike traps. And as a reward, we actually got some Glock 17, some Glockma coming our way. But for now, let's go and get some of these revamped spike traps on the up and up. I actually think that we should maybe go and kind of like scrap some of these old ones as well recuperate a little bit of wood because we are repairing our defenses assumedly for the defense of this base yet again and continue getting our defense points up which is going to be huge because in case you guys and gals do not know a huge part of season three is this ranking system with the defense of fort moss not just do we get rewards for leveling up a fort moss but depending on how well you do relative to others doing fort moss depending on how much of a percentile you are in there are other dope rewards rewards awaiting you like potentially freaking ATV transmissions gas cylinders freaking 30 carbon composites car batteries a ton of stuff that's gonna be necessary for building up the ATV and on top of it may I also add that you even have the potential just by doing quest lines like you guys saw uh whatchamacall right you guys saw that the captain over here is willing to give us as a reward a freaking Glock 17 right well as we continue leveling up at a certain level the prizes get much better including the ATV ATV transmission is eventually one of the prizes we can get from here. We can get car batteries. I think we can get gas cylinders. So even regardless of how well you do relative to others, just completing these quests does have a reward awaiting in store for y'all. So there is still a benefit to doing it, especially with some of those ATV parts that are going to be huge. And that I know personally, I am definitely going to be going after quite a little bit because I want to build that ATV on the ASAP for you lads and lassies when season three does go global because oh my god and again that should be happening this week oh my god dude like i want to show that off so badly for you guys because the atv is something that we last day on earth players have been waiting for freaking i genuinely think we got to build three walls and three windows got it i think we've been waiting like over two years man 
for this to happen and it's finally happening i can't believe it i'm so freaking hyped dude like it is just gonna be a freaking it's gonna be a good time and a half and also i gotta go and get some of these things repaired over here we are losing can oh i can't even fix that wall hold on maybe i can actually just scrap it from here and i think we get our yeah we still get stuff back from doing it that way okay good because I literally was not able to repair it over there. That was a bit poopy. Uh, hold on. Wait, does the Capitan, do you need windows from me? Or did you need doorways? I forgot. I think he said windows, right? It was windows, Mr. Captain. Walls and windows, tree of each. I will do my best for that because windows are very nice because you can shoot through them. Walls are very solid. You can't, I can't really shoot through them. So they're not as nice for, you know, pot potentially fending off a, a rather large zombie horde. So I'm going to go and we'll get a window tossed over that way. Oh, did we have had some defenses freaking broken through? Let's get a couple of walls repaired over here. I'll get a window over there. And we also got to make some repairs on these because these are some of the ones that I definitely want upgraded relative to others. This is definitely a pretty popular wall. At least I feel like that gets broken into quite a little bit. Uh, let's go and get that wall upgraded. Let's get this one upgraded. I know that I have a little bit of a hole there. I will work on fixing that, but let me know what you guys think of season three so far. Obviously, I you guys have seen just through the last couple of videos how freaking hyped I am. If you guys haven't seen those videos, plenty of stuff on season three already out from some of the stuff that we have been able to cover and plenty more coming your way. So like I'm saying, stick around and check out some of that other stuff as well. Should be able to check it out through the top right corner of the screen, tapping that little eye icon that should show up with a couple of videos that you should be able to check out. And like I'm saying, there's much more that we got to check out, like the freaking ATV, the swamps, some other stuff as well that I can't mention. Like uh, just the amount of videos you guys are going to be getting. Expect some double upload type of days. Things are going to be freaking naughty to see the least and i think i gotta get what was it was it one more window or one more wall i think i think one more window if i am not mistaken actually hold on i'm, I'm gonna double check just in case i don't want to accidentally build the wrong thing because like uh, then i won't get credit for it and i want to get credit for everything that we built okay he needs a window well my man my man my man call me the window god or just a contracting company whichever one you prefer and let me just go and badoop get that leveled up to level two and let's see what the capitan has in store for us thank you very kindly and oh i need to find the soldiers representative i got in touch with soldiers they will send a good friend of mine old good friend will you meet her dude are we about to recruit the military to help us defend fort moss is this happening bruh bruh Things are getting juicy. <laughs> Dude, I freaking love... Oh, dead zombies. What's up? I got flash drives and other stuff. Oh, it's dangerous here. Quickly, take me to the camp. Sure thing. Why are, you, why are we going through the swamp way? There's a much safer way than this lady. I tell you what. Come on. We just... Uh, what? These creatures gonna Go get them. Oh, they're not dead. All oh, these people are very alive. Die, carrions. And other swamp zombies. Okay, we gotta go. We gotta go, lady. Listen, I, as your personal bodyguard hired by none other than the Capitan, am here to escort you. Whoo, thanks. Yeah, no problem. What can I say? Oh, she's got something for me. Ho, 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 ho. I wonder what. What do you have for me? Hello? Hello? Hold on, I'm trying to talk to her and it's not working. Oh. Do we? I thought we got, like, I thought we get, like, a present from her. No? Well, that's unfortunate. What's up, Captain? Well, I'll go ahead and finish up this quest. Uh, thank you very kindly. Highly appreciate that. And now he is in need of jerky, beer, and eight wooden foundations. So quite a few uh, building things that we got to go and get done to escalate our way up into the next level. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okie dokie, boys and girls. We're back in Mr. Captain. I got some stuff for you. Some booze. Enjoy, my comrade. Some jerky. Enjoy, my friend. This supply run of ours will make us rather prepared. He also asked for a freaking thick jacket, denim jeans, and some work boots. So we got all of that knocked out. Just got to build up some of these foundations, and we're going to be getting our rewards and another level up on top of it. But I can finally talk to Jessica. Woo! What up, Jessica? How are you doing? Come back tomorrow. What did I just get from her? Dude, she just gave us a reward. I have no... Did she give us, like, coins? I, I have no idea what this what this lady gave to me. Did she give me the band-aids? No, I, 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 
I don't know. Well, like I said, not entirely sure what Jessica gave to us over here besides a big old dose of confusion, but apparently she said, come back tomorrow. So once you get Jessica unlocked, it looks like the outpost is literally gonna be somewhere where you can go to get like a daily reward of some kind. So that's freaking dopeness. Now the supply run of ours did also get us some of these wood foundations over here. So we're gonna start placing those. It, however, did not give us i mean we spent a little bit of time the dock is almost respawned hopefully so we'll be able to go and check it out yet again but in the meantime we got some more stuff over here that we are going to be uh shuffling around a little bit and i think i know potentially my next move here for how i want to structure my base and mm, we do need a little bit of wood for this now that i do put my brain to doing brain stuff and really quickly after chopping down a few trees over here available on the outskirts of this area as well which is another thing that is really freaking cool oh like this outhouse uh no but another thing that's really freaking cool is the fact that like this this entire base does have like a lot of resources scattered around its outskirts that you can just harvest so you don't necessarily need to leave all the time which is actually pretty freaking nifty man especially for a lot of like the base building that it does require of us but okie dokie without further ado let's go and start putting down some of these foundations because i i really okay maybe that one over there wasn't necessarily the best place but i really want to start like creating a perimeter around what we are creating over here so putting down a lot of these I, why can't i not put that down there am i like partially touching that ground okay yeah that was exactly why i was about to say i am big bamboozled we got one two three four five six seven eight right over there in terms of some of these walls and we're gonna go not walls but floors i guess i should say and i think these are gonna be the next set of them that we do start repairing as we kind of start trying to assemble avenger style some of these like walls and whatnot or like yeah some of these like walls to actually help us fend off the horde as that time does come but with all of this incredible stuff that we are doing for season three like i said i'm so freaking hyped for it to come out there's so much that i want to cover and between all the stuff we've shown off and some of the stuff that we do have coming our way like like obviously we've shown off fort moss we shown off a little bit of bunker bravo all that jazz let me know what you guys are most excited about and especially let me know what you guys think of the fishing rod but let me know what has you the most hyped about season three what do you guys think of the fishing what are you guys most personally excited to get into are you guys excited to maybe dive into some of this fishing and all that type of jazz in that comment section down below and reminder that that comment is going to put you one third of the way into the weekly 25 dollar at two touch place store gift card giveaway all you gotta do as well as make sure to like button make sure to subscribe that will sure you win on today's video y'all can go ahead and enter in on every single last day on earth video when saturday rolls around we'll pick a random video for the past week pick a random comment from that random video and that will be the winner for the week and we'll kick off with a weekly giveaway that exact same saturday as well so make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell to stay up to date with every single video y'all can enter in on for that weekly giveaway not to mention all the other dope survival games going up on the channel as well but okie dokie without further ado the capitan over here requires some wooden walls and some spike traps and after a little bit of a supply run we got ourselves some supplies over here but on the way to get these supplies another of the dock locations spawned in so we're gonna go we're just gonna use some of these supplies here and then we're going fishing at a brand new type of location this time around and whoa Dude, I just love the amount of new stuff that this update has. And there's still so much more we got to cover. Like, bro, we're just going to be having a jolly good time with it. But okay, I think he wanted three more wooden walls and three more wooden windows. So without further ado, I'm going to try to get some of those built up. And why don't we try and build some of them up? Uh, well, over here seems like a pretty logical place since we are literally just uh, there's a there's a lot. There's a lot. There's just like a lot to take in around here. We have a lot of different sides that I'm trying to cover. So hopefully just kind of clogging it up with as much stuff as we can will be good. So let's go and just try to upgrade a few of these while we got the opportunity. Okay, we're running a little bit low on the planks. We're definitely gonna have to go and grab some more of those from our home base. So that's gonna be something we do after we craft up some of these spike traps over here for another quest. And then, oh baby. We gone fishing, but for now, let's just go and continue tossing these spikes on the perimeter. This side of our defenses are actually looking like incredibly solid, bro. I'm not going to lie. And we're almost up to 7,000 defense points too. The Fort Moss is coming along well. I think we're going to try to include Fort Moss in like every one of the videos that we are doing moving forward and just continue trying to kind of like push this forwards. Like I'm saying, a Bunker Bravo run. We are due for one of those. And obviously this fishing stuff that, uh, well... We're about to go and capitalize upon. Woo! Welcome one, welcome all to what appears to be literally like an oak pond plank. Are you guys seeing this? Oh, 
dude, this is freaking sick. That is so awesome. So it appears that with a lot of these brand new locations as well, not only are they just going to be like a dock off into the edge of the sea, there's going to be all sorts of fishing available for us. And this one has three separate docks available at it. It's got some freaking oak trees that you can harvest up. And on top of that, not, not really a fire that we could use, but on top of that, this whole like oak theme, like, oh my God. I wonder if the fish are going to be any better in here. I don't know, but it's time for us to find out let's go and equip this puppy and let's see how the fishing guys will shine down upon us today we got some fish that i want to catch we got a little bit of practice with this but if we got a tough fish man like i don't really oh my god oh hold up i i accidentally i thought the orange circle was the fish for a second big derp moment big derp moment <laughs> okay and i gotta remember the fish is the other one this time okay oh no 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 there we go there we go there's the fishy Staying nice and steady. Is this thing like about to drop on us, man? I don't know. I don't know. This one's tough. It's not as tough as the catfish, but whoo! A silver perch. You love to see it. You know what else you love to see? A man that isn't thirsty. My hydration nation. I welcome ye. AKA myself. Back to, uh, I don't know. I drank the water good. That's what I do. Okay, come on. Let me hook up another one of these fishies and oh, no, no. Oh, oh my God. We got a crazy one, man. No, 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 no. Dude, oh my god, that's like freaking impossible. That's like a super fish that we're dealing with. I, I caramba, bro. I think with that one, like, we got to get some fishing skills or something. I, I think that's what's going to do it. I think that if we can get some of those other, like, if we can continue leveling up and get some of the other good fishing skills, I think some of those other fish will come our way. But uh, with what we're seeing today... I, 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 I think, I think that those are goldfish, literally, lol, not, not like goldfish that you like put in a bowl, but like the gold starfish, the super hard ones to catch. I got a feeling that those are gold. I don't, this one seems like a silver, maybe. I'm not sure. Yep. That's a silver new record, but that's freaking insane, man. Those gold ones seem ridiculously hard. But I got a feeling that it might be possible to catch them once we do get some of those other... Oh my god, look at him freaking jump, man. That's amazing. But yeah, once we get some of the other perks, I think it might be a different story. No, get back here, baby. Yeah, they freaking like... I, they tend to follow like a relatively like similar pattern. Oh no, get back here. It's like they shoot... Like they randomly just like shoot up and stuff. This one's... Dude, this is like really hard, but this is like one of our better ones. I don't want to jinx it. No, get back here, freaking fishy. Come on. I got a blink, man. I'm like staring into my screen. This is a battle for the ages. Me versus the fish. Come on, the fishy. I will get you great home in my belly. That is right, baby. Oh my God, dude. Come on. Let me catch one of these fish, please. Ah, I gotta go poop, man. I got like, what, what happened? Like, oh my God. I don't even know. Is it like, come on, you freaking fish. I know you're gonna dive down. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my, I'm gonna have like an aneurysm doing this, man. This is insane. Oh my god! Not fair! Not fair, you freaking fish! No! Get back here. Oh my god, I gotta blink, man. I've been like staring at the screen so hard trying to catch this freaking fish! No! <laughs> Guys, I don't know if I'm meant for fishing. Oh my god, my eyes hurt from how hard, how intensely I was staring at that screen. Give me another go. Put me back in, chief. I think this might... Yeah, it's another hard one. Oh, my caramba. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh, <laughs> please. Just let me catch one of these freaking really hard fish. I want to see what it is, man. I'm just curious. Fish, please. I know you're about to freaking skyrocket down. Oh, my God. It's an art, man. It is an art trying to do this. He's about to freak. I know you. I know you, fish. I know you well enough. We spent a lot of time together here in this pond. Oh, my God. Ah, no. Yes. Oh, please don't swim so quickly. You're abandoning me, man. Oh my God. If you were a lifeguard, you'd be the worst lifeguard in the world. Oh my God. No, no, no. Ah! Who would have thunk that fishing would be the most rage inducing part of last day on earth that I have ever encountered? Yet here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, this is another freaking... No, this is a decent fish. This one isn't as crazy. It's having a freaking spasm in the water, but that's not as crazy. 
dude, definitely. I, it has to be, man. Those fishes that we failed every time, I know for a fact that those are gold fish. Those are gold starred fish. Those have to be the best of the best, man. Only explanation. And I don't think there's any of those amazing fish left over. These are pretty normal looking. Dude, we almost had that one. I can't but like one of those we were just so insanely close to like my heart it hurts man it hurts from that like the rest of these like dude bronze and silvers I'm not gonna lie not to throw shade at you guys but you're pretty easy to catch a dog pretty or should I say you're pretty easy to catch fish <laughs> and with that we are out this fishing pond is exhausted and I am mentally exhausted as well. But wow, we got a lot of fish. We only got six perch. Did we only catch perch that time? And yeah, it looks like every one of these is taken up as well. But dude, this is a freaking beautiful little pond over here, man. Like, talk about a dope fishing spot, man. I, I, I gotta hand it to him. This is freaking awesome on Kafir's part for a freaking thing to incorporate these like new dock location events that we could go to. Freaking go fishing. And now we got some uh, recipes that I kind of want to discover with the perch yet again. Because I think I think I got a couple of things up my sleeve that we might be able to uh, whip on up there, Sonny Jim. But at least I got one recipe on my mind. But in the meantime, let's get one more look at this beautiful little place. Man, this really is a gorgeous place. And I think that there's going to be more ponds like this as well. So we're going to continue checking them out as soon as we can. All right, so I've been scheming a little bit. Stove, I'm back, baby. And I think I got a rat. Dude, I like how all of these fish, by the way, were silver. We did not catch a single bronze. So that's a nice little note over there. But I'm back, baby. And I think that I got over here a pretty, like, I think that this right here should actually create something that we're looking for. A fish, a carrot, and a mushroom. A part of the game that's been in here ever since like update 1.6 in the oak fours it's finally going to be useful i think in recipes let's go and skip this for the sake of science and let's freaking go we have made a new dish a perch stuffed with vegetables it lasts for 25 minutes so yeah the higher quality definitely helps out with this stuff and this thing's special effect no hunger for 25 minutes. Um, num, 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 num. Let's go and chow down on that on a little bit and look at it. Hunger is now going to be a thing of the past. Our water drops down, but for the next 25 minutes, I don't even need to worry about eating food. We have just temporarily solved world hunger, baby. Where's my Nobel Peace Prize? Okay, Food Network. I want my contract back. That's right. We cooking up some top tier dishes, baby. Oh my god, there's like this is just, this is just gonna be so fun to like be able to discover all these different recipes And seriously if there's like a recipe that boosts our damage in any way or like maybe boosts our armor like wow That is gonna be dope and there's like so many combinations and there are still more types of fish We gotta find so there's a lot of stuff that we gotta get to scheme in boys and girls and uh, scheme we will. And without further ado, we're back. We got ourselves some of the necessary supplies we need to wrap things up around here. Let's get some of these defenses nice and finished up. We got some defense points gained, but most important, we got some quests nice and completed for my man over here. Take my wire, take my rubber parts, take the bolts, and take the agua. And that, oh, ho, ho, ho. It appears that the next thing on our smorgasbord is fending off the zombie horde. Oh, those bars. Sorry, just had to just mad rhymes, right? But uh, yeah. So next time when we return, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it appears that we got to fend Fort Moss off. We're going to come back with plenty of supplies to do that. We're going to continue leveling up, leveling it up because I want to continue getting this absolutely to as high of a level as possible. Show off what the rewards are, what it takes to do, and some of the amazing things along the way that we get to freaking do over here at this fort too. And of course, we still got some more fishing spots. We got to check out some more recipes we got to unlock. Hopefully, some more perks that we can unlock and show off as well. And just like, dude, there's so much for us to show off. And this isn't even like showing off the entirety of the update because but wait billy mays here 
there is more and all of that will be coming your way so stay tuned we're probably gonna have some double upload days coming your way soon as well a return to bunker bravo soon as well too but today i just want to focus on fishing because we finally got the chance a huge shout out to kafir by the way the last day on our developers for letting us show this off as well i highly appreciate it a ton that they let us post about this while we are alpha testing this update and helping them out and uh Hopefully you guys are enjoying it as well because I am just having so much fun showing off these features and especially because it's a good way of letting you guys have a heads up of what you need to maybe prepare, like what you got to bring to the fort, for example, what you can expect out of this update, all that type of jazz. And there's a lot more that we got to show off that uh, I cannot wait for. But with that said, with that done, that's going to start wrapping it up for me for now. Thank you guys a whole time for watching. Hi, this was an awesome one. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.